Hey there, zombie hunters. Jaxel here. Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 on the single player. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, hey, smack the taste out of that like button for me. Alrighty, folks, let's get started. Um, <clears throat> I'm not doing a live stream today. I just I, I can't guarantee that things are going to work the way I want them to. I'm having a bit of internet issues right now. And, well, it is what it is. Um... Uh, I can't guarantee a live stream is going to work, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do a recording for today. Uh, it's going to be going up a bit later than I want, but hey ho, it is what it is. I got to do what I got to do. Um, so I've done a lot of work off camera here, and there has been a small di technical difficulty. This is from a collapse, and I will take you and show you the collapse that I had uh, up top. It, uh, it actually showed up down here. So this will be a little interesting. So let's go take a look at what happened here. Uh, oh, I need food before I can go anywhere. Uh, let's eat. And that should get me a little bit. Look, that should 32. And come on, give me one more. That should 50%. Yeah, that'll be enough for what I got to go do. And these have been running nonstop. I have like... Yeah, what, 22,000 almost, probably even more than that. Yeah, I got almost 30,000 here in cement now. I've been using rebar like freaking crazy. Um, now, let's go up and show you what, what happened here. I have to go do some emergency work up top. Uh, we had a collapse. We had a major collapse. Uh, I was digging the stone out and I thought, oh yeah, everything will be fine. Just get these stairwells opened up. I've gone all the way around almost. Uh, I've got a chunk here that still has to come down, but this wall's all in. Uh, I was working on getting, well, this wall up and <laughs> the whole kit and caboodle came down. I didn't disconnect the dirt from the top of the, the frames. So what happened was as soon as things started to fall, it pulled all of that with it. So, well, I got work to do down here. I got lots of cleanup to do now. Uh, what can you do? It is what it is. Uh, I need to find a way up to the surface. That's for starters. Uh, I don't know how much of this is still. Oh, this is still connected. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, man. <clears throat> if I had upgraded it. It probably wouldn't have fallen. Uh, but it was put together really shoddily anyway. So the one thing I am going to do, I think, now going forward, seeing so I'm rebuilding this anyway, is to do it in concrete and just chop out that which doesn't matter anymore uh, after the fact. Um, honestly, I could probably get away with because uh, I'm going to have to do the same on this side as well. And I don't want it to all collapse. So what I think I'm going to do here is swap that out. And I'll reclaim a bit of lumber here. and Just a bit. It's got to come out anyway. And, well, i got to make sure that I do this properly. So let's do that. That's going to support anything that I do yeah i really should probably just chop the rest of this out and be done with it may as well give it a little bit more strength and then i can get it in here and get it uh get it upgrading right away and drying because it's gonna need to dry and i will honestly probably just leave these center pieces like this because i think that should withstand a cave-in uh, especially if this is all reinforced concrete all the way out to the edge uh, which once I'm done here it will be uh, let's go like this and I'm not going to, oh, maybe I should I was looking at the ramps that I've done here and I did them in wood and I'm thinking I should probably have them done in uh, in reinforced concrete because this over here is, yeah, it's going to be a reinforced concrete deal as well. All right, let's do this. So that's done. 
Um, I'm going to do these ones up, even though I may have to come back and chop a couple out. Let's see, do I have, let's see, the measurement, so it'll be on, on this row. Okay, so that's easy to know. So, let's damage it. I think that's, let me just count it here from this ring. One, two, three, on the fourth one. Perfect. That'll be easy to remember. I think, if I actually look at it properly. So, one, two, three, four, fifth. Okay. So, one, two, th one, two, three, four, the fifth, that one. That's the one that has to come out. So, we're going to do that. So, I remind myself, do not upgrade that. Which means then, uh, if we're going from the fourth, so fifth one off of here, one, two, three, four, five. So that one has to come out. I have to be really careful up here. I'm just going to leave that one for now. I don't want to attract too much attention right now because I don't feel like falling down and dying. Alrighty, folks. I've got it. Uh, I've got it pretty well marked off here. Just the only thing I have to do now is one, two, three, four, five. So right there is going to be another skylight. And now I have them. It all covered off. I should be able to. I know I'm thirsty. I should probably drink something real quick. There we go. And one more. There we go. And then we're gonna quickly, quickly upgrade this shit. Once it hits daylight, I'm going to pull the chainsaw out to chop out a lot of the wood that doesn't, uh, well, I don't have the required uh, scrap in order to, I could make it, but I'd rather just chop it out, get some of the wood back, and be done with it. Chop it out, make my life a lot easier, especially if most of this is already in concrete, I'll be laughing. Get it all done up. There we are. And probably should fix that while we're here. And we're not going to worry about any of that crap. But we're just going to keep going around the outer ring. Because this is, this is curing pretty quick. So it's going to get very strong, very fast. So I shouldn't have any worry about structural integrity. As long as I can keep... Uh, well, dotting up the stuff that, you know, I'll dot it all that up. I'll leave it for a bit. And we'll come back over here and we'll do a little bit of work over here. Because I just pulled this all up. Got it ready to go. And come on. We'll see how quickly we burn through 20 some odd thousand concrete mix. Or cement mix. May as well dot up those. We're going to have to chop those up with the auger now. But hey ho. Why not? And now any zombies that come up, I'm not going to be worried too, too much about uh, future damage they're going to cause. Because, well, reinforced concrete? Not a worry. Especially once I get it up to steel. Oh, man. The amount of concrete mix I have now, too, for, for doing repairs and whatnot, it... it there is no other building material needed. I do not need lumber anymore. I am good with lumber. Lumber is uh, nice, but I, I got oil shale. I can burn that if I need something to burn, so not too worried. <clears throat> oh, I missed one? That a gonad. Okay. Now, let's do this. Let's pick up these ones. And I think I've got, oh yeah, I got, do I have more on me? No, I have to go downstairs. We got to go down and grab some. I'm looking at these though, and I'm thinking, no, forget it. I was thinking about changing the design, 
and I've already got a bunch done in reinforced concrete. I am not picking shit up. Got five more. And I need another, well, bunch. Uh, I heard dogs. Stands around and waits. Good job. Let's do it. We'll keep that spot open. Let's see what happens if we uh, upgrade all the way around. Let's just try it. So far, looks pretty safe. <laughs> Famous last words, maybe. Beautiful. May as well. I should have just chopped this one right out, but hey ho. Good enough. At least we've got the top pieces a little bit more secure. I wasn't planning on doing this right now, but all right, whatever. It is what it is. We should probably make a hay bale for down here. I think that would probably be a very fitting uh, idea. But let's take a look and see what other re rebar frames and shit we have. Uh, we don't really need that on us right now. I don't know why I kept it. Same with that. And we could drop that. And that's enough. Drop some wood. Good. And those we don't need. Everything else I want to keep on me, just in case. And now we need to get to... Oh, shit. I need to get up a level, so let's take the stairwell. And hopefully none of it was destroyed in the collapse. I don't think so, because I think this side was all pretty solid, but... Where are the boxes? If I lost the boxes, I am not... Oh, wow. I said, I'm not going to be happy if I lose some boxes, damn it, because all my rebar is in here. That would not be freaking cool. All right, we got freaking tons of work. Like, this place, what happened? I have one little party, and it's a house wrecker. Ah. <laughs> At least it didn't kill the crop. Not, not going to worry about anything else here right now. It's in good What the hell? Jesus, Daxel, you leaving hatches open? Are you shitting me, dude? Come on, man. Good friggin' lord. What an idiot. Alright, well, I know up here is pretty well secure right now. This is a few weak points, but all in all, we can go with this. So let's, uh, let's head back down. And, whoa, careful, don't fall off the ladder. I really need to fix this here. This is going to drive me. Now that I've got a ceiling over my head, I can kind of do that. Is what I was waiting for. Now, something I also noticed, too, was the hoe. Actually takes this stuff up quite quickly. And, oh, Except when it's stone, then it's a piece of shit. But wood and dirt and sand? Shit, no problem. No freaking problem. Love it. Now, I'm not going to bore everybody with me doing another stairwell. You guys know how they, the other one turned out. So I'm not going to waste your, all, your time with that. There's no, no point. We got other fish to fry today. Like cleaning up my big old mess down here. I'd love to get the stairwells in. And they probably would almost be in right now. If I didn't have the collapse. But I also do want to take you over and show you another collapse that I had in my mind. And we'll do that once once I get this little bit cleared up. I want to make it so at least where I'm working is free and clear yet again. All right, folks. Most of the uh, cleanup is done. I just have a bit of flooring to put in here. But what I did want to take you and quickly show you is... Um, let's go into God mode. Look at the map over here. And my mine is about here but we're so we'll uh 
And we'll go over this way. We'll take go we'll go down. And then you guys are going to get the depth of what I have dug. And just oh, we can we don't need that on. Let's uh, swap out. There we go. But this area over here, I had a major collapse. You can see I've got tunnels fucking everywhere. Uh, this one jogs off, comes into this huge room I've dug out here. And it's all the way to bedrock here. And then this whole chunk collapsed. Luckily, there's a, a cave. Uh, where was it? Let's see if I can see it. There was a small cave. This one right here. I do believe. Let me see here. Was it that one? No. Uh, let me look. I can. I know there's there's one particular little cave. I think it was this one actually. When this started to collapse, I was. Yeah, I found a little place and I had dug in, and it was just by fluke. I was able to to as it was collapsing. Actually, I'm. Let me see here. I don't see any little caves off this side, so it must have been. It wasn't very deep. It was like two or three blocks in. Anyway, you get the picture. I dug in as this was falling down around me, and it was, I think, right over here, actually, if I remember correctly. Yes, it was. It was over in this little piece here. I stood in here and just watched it all fall. There was nothing I could do. There's not much holding much of this up. So, there we go. In looking for my silver and diamonds, uh, this is uh, this is how I've been digging it out. I have not been caring if I get collapses. Quite honestly, if I get a collapse from digging up here, like this is pretty damn close to the surface. Like there is not. Well, I guess there's there's a fair amount of distance between me and the surface, but about a half the way. So out of fifty blocks, I lost. 25 to 30 if you count the very very middle probably 30 blocks down to bedrock that was a pretty crazy fall man it was i'm not gonna lie it was it was quite fun but we will uh head our way back i got mining like crazy going on and then over this way i haven't done much of that in regard to uh doing collapses but i do have quite a large section chunked out over here so i figure i show you all that too why not we got a large area there and another area further up the tunnel here and this one eh, doesn't go crazy crazy far and then that's this is the, the end of the line so to speak but so there you have it that's my uh my mine shaft Oh, there's an airdrop right there. I'm going to mark that. That's probably the one from yesterday. May as well mark it. It'll stay on the map anyway. I'm not going to get it today, though. All right. So let's get back to the base here. We're done playing around in God mode. Good enough. So there we have it, folks. That is what I have been working on. A lot of uh, a lot of cleanup, getting prepped for this whole top piece. Like I, like I said, the collapse was not intended. I was hoping to be able to do the the that floor here from the floor that would have been here, but it's not here no more. So I've got some work ahead of me. Damn it. Um. Now, I do know that after I started looking at this, uh, I don't like this stair here. And there's a reason for that. Uh, I dug this out one, two. I'm going to have to fill a lot of this back in. As I was thinking about it when I came up here, something is missing from this piece here. And I don't even have them freaking on me. Like All right. So this area has been taken back. 
And now I can, uh, well, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a layer of dirt and I'll see about going and grabbing some more dirt because dirt's, dirt's not an important resource. That stone, I really don't want to use that stone if I can avoid it. So I know I have like 600 dirt, so we'll go with that. Some of the stuff that's already been upgraded, I'm not tearing it out. I don't see the point. Uh, this can come out. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's get this done up and we'll leave a bit of the sand in even. I don't even give a crap right now. So this is going to take a little bit more time than I wanted it to. But the end result is going to be a much better product in my mind because I won't have wasted I won't have wasted good supplies on dumb ideas. Or at least not as much as I could have if I just left all that rebar sitting in there when I know I can be using that rebar somewhere else. I got lots more of the build to uh, to work on, and I don't think wasting uh, 300 and some odd bar bar uh, rebar is going to be adv advantageous in the very least. So. Alrighty, folks. There we go. I got the floor back in, and I do want to quickly put these stairs up, just because if I can get the stairs in. That is going to tie off quite a bit of the design here. Quite a bit. So it's just going to be a matter of making a few pieces for the corners to finish those off. Which those are pretty freaking easy. I don't need a lot of them either right now. Only like four. Just to finish this floor off is all I need to do. I missed one there. How the hell did that happen? Uh, sleeping on the job again. Good thing this is a union job. Oh, oh, oh. Put that away, and we're going to have to take a look at how much concrete mix we actually have left. I'm very curious. Uh, I'm betting I'm not going to have enough to do everything I want to do today, but we're going to get a lot done. That's kind of the plan. Now, that needs to be there. There we go. Get the right places filled up here with the right blocks. Done and done. Okay. How much concrete do we have? We have 14,000. Um, well, let's, let's at least get the perimeter done. We'll work our way from the middle out. That just makes sense. All right, floor is all done, and we have 9,000 left. So it's going to be about 10,000, a little bit more per side. So we're looking at 10,000. That's, uh, we're going to say we're going to need about another 60,000 to do the floor. The floor is above all the walls and the floor. Probably 70, maybe more. And I'm looking, this is quite low, but you know what? I don't really care because I wanted it to stare up because this just makes this piece here work that much better. Even though this is all three high, that's okay. The bottom here, it can be too high. It doesn't really matter. I might uh, swap this out for some ramps, though, just to make, uh, make it a little bit more of the same. But we'll have to wait and see. I don't know exactly how this is all playing out down here. Um, but one thing I am going to go work on, uh, really quick, like, we'll just dump shit off in here. Okay, so let's go downstairs, now that I figured this out, and let's grab our forged steel. Forged steel is the next thing I want to work on, because that's going to be important for the next part of the horde. The next horde that comes in is going to be even stronger. I'm going to have to start working on getting bullets going here soon. 
Uh, right now, as it stands, I have 1,700. Uh, I should have almost 3,000, maybe almost 4,000. 3,000. I'll have a little over. Yeah. There we go. And we got a little bit of concrete mix. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, let's, uh, let's grab the rest of this cement mix here. A concrete mix. May as well grab it. Perfect. That's another, well, we got 18,000 now. Beautiful. Uh, the only other thing I could possibly need would be more rebar, but I think I have a couple more stacks still. I know I made a couple thousand up, so... We're not going to worry about upgrading the stairs just yet. They can stay. Um, oh, yes, 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 yes. There, there we go. So let's head on up. Beautiful. And let's, uh, let's finish this off here. We got enough concrete or uh, enough the mix that we can get a good chunk of this done. Between concrete mix and the steel, I should be. Oh, you friggin' dummy. There's nothing along this side to stop me from falling. Oh my god. Let's go. You moron. I may have to put a floor in. Before I can continue on, get the garden sections finished. Seeing how this is open now. Let's get this, this piece all in. And then I can start looking at putting a garden actually in. Even if it's not fully, uh, fully functional yet with all crops in, at least it will be started. And then I made it smaller for a reason because I hardly ever end up using fertilizer. For whatever reason, I just never end up getting there. Like, the one farm I did was awesome for it. But then ever since then, I've kind of been slacking with the fertilizer. So, today, I'm going to try... What I'm going to try and do from now on is... this: The four plots are small, but they're, the yield is going to be massive. So, if I were to just utilize what's already there, uh, I should be able to, to, to get quite the farm going. With very minimal plots, like 15 per. So 15 per, that's 60, 60 potatoes. 60 potatoes pretty much every day. So how much more potato do you really need growing? Honestly, I need like hundreds. But on a, to, if I really want to be honest with myself, I don't need to be all that greedy with it. There is so much food to be had in the game now. Um... Sure, the meat stews suck with the uh, the quantities needed to make a proper meat stew. But honestly, the amount of animals I keep finding, uh, it's I really shouldn't complain too loud. Not even not even gonna bother a little bit. Not even a little bit. So there we go. Now our garden floor is, I think, just about done, except for the stairwells, which those I can do as, as like I said, as I have time, I will work on those stairwells. For right now, we need to just focus on getting the actual garden in so we can actually eat and live and prosper. Because right now, we're not going to be doing much prospering if we keep eating the crap food that we're eating. Drink. Give myself shit for that now. Should probably eat some food too, but I want to finish this first. So close to being having this this put in. So yeah, the gardens will will we, giving me four of everything will be fine. And then what I also have thought about doing, and I'm gonna have to revisit something here, but uh, I may end up in the bottom floor doing all my mushrooms. I don't know though. I'm gonna have to wait and see on that. I, I'm just not exactly sold on that idea. I gotta do a little bit more thinking first before I commit to that. 
let's go back quickly and go grab our we need our dirt we have some dirt but i need my stone and i need my hoe and i need my wood plates and i need my steel grab that and my stone and i thought i put oh my wood plates are right there perfect done let's go back up yeah i don't like this i'm gonna have to do something different there it's not working now the stone like i said we're gonna do around the outer edge just because well i'm not fucking around i could go make more dirt but i don't really really want to not right now i don't This just gets it in and it doesn't matter because I'm not pulling the wood frame or the wood plates up ever anyway. If I need to make my farm bigger, I'll find a way to make my farm bigger. It won't be uh, at the expense of tearing this out. Okay, so all the plots are in. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I didn't know if I was going to get that or not. <laughs> That's freaking glorious. So the farms are in, folks. And... We're going to do what I wasn't intending on doing right now. And that is we're going to just quickly do it. We got to, we got to let's get the, let's get, the, let's get the crops going. Good enough. I'm not worried about the rest of it. I'll do that once I get there. Now I'm looking at the, how this is made and ah, I may be chopping some iron bars out if I can't figure out a better way. Because right now, this doesn't look right. I'll be, uh, I'm going to want to end up wanting to put stairs there. So I can get down to my garden from this end too. Which, multiple ways up and down is not a bad thing. But it just changes how I was doing everything. Damn it. Good lord. Okay, well, we're, we'll worry about that after. We got some bigger fish to fry. Now that we, we're not going to fall, we can do this up. Oh, they did some damage here, finally. I am not worried about them even getting in a little bit. Not anymore, man. I got these I got these pricks covered now. Especially once I get the traps reloaded. <laughs> and the new trap in the new traps in place will be huge. Well, there we go, folks. We've got a whole bunch of the uh, forged, forged iron, uh, uh, forged steel put out. So anything that's damaged now, well, I'll come back and repair it later. I'm not going to worry about it because there's a bunch of damage in there. Let's see. Did that zombie leave us anything special? No, I don't care about even the corpse right now. But at least I know for a fact... They can't really touch me no more. That's the one hell of a safe structure that I put up there. Holy sheep shit. Um, now, how much steel do I have left? Oh, wow. Okay. Let's go up another layer. May as well. They're not climbing, not even even climbing up this high, and I'm going to be able to stop that soon, because the plan is to put something up to stop the ascent. Because I know they're going to start piling up, and I'm going to want them to take a lot of damage for piling up. If they want to pile up, they can pile up. It'll probably be just a ring of barbed wire around the inside of this, is what I'm thinking, because I can get the barbed wire to sit flush against here, and just snag it'll just snag the zombies and hold them in place longer and we might end up having easier loot because if the corpses are hung on the walls well then they're not that hard for me to loot for we'll have to wait and see though i'm not sure how it's going to play out god this is going so quick 
good frickin' lord. It's glorious, I tell you. Glorious! I don't know how much further I'm going to get going here, but we're going to keep going until we're out. Why not? I can always make more. Hey, dude. What are you doing up there? Is that all the way around again? Oh, my Lord. Look at that. Look at that, folks. We got the cage put in. We've only got 200 left, so we're not going to bother. Uh, we'll do the corners. And the corner. And I should probably chop the garbage out of here. Let's do that because that's in our way. And this is a nice height to fight too. Yeah, I might have to do a bit of work on this part here. I may not uh, be keeping a lot of this. I don't know. It's hard to say. I may rejig it because this doesn't quite work the way I want it to. But it might be better to stare it back one. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is, is I got a lot of freaking work done today. Um, let's go and uh, drop some more stuff off. I could have went the other way. It would have been a lot quicker. Let's just cut across. And go drop some stuff here. Alrighty, folks. There we go. So, a lot of this is rattled off. We've got a little bit of steel left. So, I'm going to want to do these pillars. But i got to be careful because I'm going to run out. So, I have just enough, I think, to do these four. And then I'm right out. And I have like 40 left, I think. Sixteen. I'm going to wrap the episode up here. So thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hey, smack the taste out of that like button for me. And thank you to all my sponsors and all the donations that uh, folks have, uh, have put my way. I do appreciate it. Uh, you guys rock. Uh, every, everything you guys do for me is uh, more inspiration for me to keep doing what I do. So... Uh, I hope I can, uh, I hope I can repay the, the kind gestures. So thank you all. Uh, I thank you again for watching and I look forward to chatting with you all again real soon. So until the next one, folks, peace out and happy hunting.